everybody. Who wants to see Justin Trudeau and Christian Freeland expose themselves? I know I do, and I'm pretty sure you do as well. So let's have a look at this video, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. It used to be that the deal was, if you worked hard at a good job, you could afford a home. That doesn't seem the case anymore. Younger generations are worried that they won't have a life that looks like how they grew up, like what their parents and grandparents had. Well, that's not fair. Agreed. But today, too many young Canadians feel as if the deck is stacked against them. They can get a good job, they can work hard, but far too often, the reward of a secure, prosperous, comfortable middle class life is out of reach. That is not okay. It used to be. <laughs> Holy shit. And, and who's been in office this whole time that this has happened? Oh, yeah, these two idiots. Like, you literally just exposed your entire, your entire prime minister reign over Canada. You, you've literally just said, yeah, you know, it used to be good, and now it sucks uh, ever since I've been in here. Yeah, he's actually right. It's like the first time he act him and Christian Freeland actually spoke any kind of common sense. It's unbelievable. They actually literally exposed themselves. And, I mean, right there, that should be enough. I mean, you, you admitted you failed. And instead of saying, you know what, I've clearly not done what's best for Canada or Canadians, I'm going to step down and let Canadians decide who they want to be their next prime minister. I'm going to run just in case you want four more years of this for whatever reason. But we should be having an election because of this. And for many other reasons. I mean, let's just look at the fact that, you know, he's being, he's testifying in court over the uh, alleged uh, election interference from China. Uh, the federal court ruled against him when he, uh, when he was sued and he went over the fact that he used the emergency act, which the federal court said that that was unconstitutional and violated our charter of rights. Now he's going to appeal that in the, in the Supreme Court, so we'll have to see where that goes. On top of the taxes, on top of the inflation, on top of the, the disappearing middle class. I mean, he's just been such a nightmare in every way. I mean, first of all, he might even be in jail, right? If he, if he loses the, the appeal in the Supreme Court, how can you violate the Charter of Rights and not be charged for treason? I know the definition of treason is very vague. It's basically, you know, if you... Uh, you know, turn your back on or you backstab your own country when you're the leader, uh, technically, which is what Trudeau has done, technically that would fit in the, in the category of treason. Now, I'm not saying we should do what we used to do to people who committed treason, but you should at least, at very least, be barred from all office again. Not to mention the arrive scam. Not to mention that other world leaders hate him. Not to mention that most Canadians, I mean, he's just so unlikable, not just with his policies, but also with his personality. He's such a fake. All these, all these people say, well, you know, the conservatives are crony capitalist union busters. Unions have disappeared under Trudeau, too. Right? I understand conservatives don't, don't do a great job, but neither do, li neither do the liberals. So people who think unions are important, like me, can't vote for the liberals. You can't vote for the NDP either. So the only thing that we can actually do to make things better is vote for someone who's going to make things financially more feasible for the middle class. The only person who's really got any plan to do that is Pierre Polyev. And again, I've said this many times before, I am not a traditional conservative. Okay, I like at least talking about the idea of a universal basic income, not by Trudeau, because we know he would just try to buy votes. But I think as you know, auto-generation... Uh, more jobs being taken away from, you know, for things like AI, for example, you know, you, you're going to have a lot of people out of jobs. So in that case, I think a universal basic income would be necessary or else you're going to have all these people on the street, right? That's a liberal ideology. I'm against the, the uh, criminalization of marijuana. That's liberal. Um, for, uh, in terms of, you know, the price gouging and these big corporate companies making record profits, I'm okay with rep record profits if it's a fair, free, capitalist market. But that's not what we have. Uh, listen to Robert Kennedy Jr. talk about that. Brilliant. Right? 
those are all liberal things. I'm pretty moderate on abortion. That's not conservative. Right, so there's not very many areas, I and mean, where I do agree with the conservatives is essentially, you know, gun rights, uh, freedom of speech. Now, that used to be a left-wing thing. Now, it seems to be more of a conservative thing, although it's not really because conservatives don't exactly believe in freedom of speech either. I think freedom of speech has now become like a libertarian independent thing. But either way, don't agree with the conservatives on very much, except their, their financial policies because there's less taxes. I agree with gun control rights. Although I do think that, you know, we need to work on that because obviously there's way too many school shootings, especially down in the States. But in my opinion, that's more of a mental health issue. As I've said before, uh, Switzerland has as many guns per capita as the United States haven't had a school shooting in 20 years. So there's there's a disconnect there. It's not just about the guns, right? It, it's hurt people, hurt people. And we have a lot of hurt people in the United States and even here in Canada. Uh, but either way, you know, I just wanted to kind of just show this, this absolute moron just literally telling Canadians, hey, everybody, I suck. Vote for me anyway. Let's not do that when we do have an election, guys. Let's make smart choices and let's get rid of this clown. That's going to be it for today's video. I just I'm just in awe that he actually said these things. It's not really. It's just it's kind of funny at this point. He's just so out of touch. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back shortly.